my channel it is now the ninth day of 12 days of foundation we are almost done y'all and today we will be trying out the bobby brown skin long wear foundation but before we get started if it is your first time watching please hit the subscribe button and if you are a returning subscriber don't forget to hit the like button so uh today basically day nine falls on the friday if you're familiar with my channel fridays is when i typically do a foundation friday uh video and Foundation Friday is all about a five minute foundation review. You just see my first impression thoughts. You will not see a full day wear test. So I'm going to stick to that tradition today. And today will just be a five minute review. You're just going to get my first impression thoughts. We're going to see how it looks on the skin. And I tell y'all what I think. And that's pretty much it. But anyway, y'all, let's just jump right into today's video. It retails for $55. It is available in 42 shades. It has a natural matte finish. It is medium coverage. It has SPF 15 and it is lightweight and breathable. And it does come with a pump you can actually pick this um foundation up from the cco store at a very discounted price i got mine from sephora just because i didn't have time to go to my local cc store cco store so i picked mine again up from sephora but i made sure to use a discount code and i got 20 percent off of it so if you don't want to spend the full 55 dollars you can get it from the cco store and also if you don't want to pick up a full bottle of this and you have not tried this out yet you can buy a mini size bottle for some reason it's not available um at sephora but you can order it online from the bobby brown website and you can also get it from macy's so the shade i picked up is golden almond i'm hoping this is a pretty good shade match because i was reading the description of the shade and then I will click on the picture and the model and it just was not adding up. <laughs> like it just, one particular shade, I think, I can't remember the exact name of it, but I felt like it would be a good shade match. But then I looked at the model and the model was like three or four shades lighter. Than for primer, I will be using um, my Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched um, Primer. back with the foundation on and this is what my face looks like i'm going to keep this foundation depending on how it wears today just because i don't like the way that this looks in person this does not look flawless it's not giving skin this foundation i don't i'm not crazy about it as of right now i feel like it's just sitting on top of my skin like you could actually see some of my dark spots like peeking through right here i don't know if it's coming across on camera but i definitely can see outside it. of that this is very lightweight it's definitely breathable. I feel like this is more of a natural finish. I wouldn't say that this is a matte foundation. Um, I just don't love it right now. And I'm surprised. Because I've always heard good, uh, good things about this foundation. Just right now, I don't like the way that it looks in person. Like, you can see a dark spot I have right here on my face. You see it. Yeah, I'm not crazy about this foundation. I don't know. Yeah, so... Being that today falls on a foundation Friday, you will not see a full day wear test, but I will definitely keep y'all updated on whether or not if my thoughts on this change. If I end up absolutely loving it, I'll have a comment pinned below, but if my thoughts on it don't change and I end up taking this back to the store, you will not see a comment pinned. Yeah, I don't, I'm not loving this. Yeah, I don't, I'm not crazy about it. But anyway, y'all, that is it. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's video. And most importantly, do not forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see y'all later. Bye.